All right, welcome to the first video segment, Mineral Properties. We have some student volunteers who have volunteered their time after school to help me out with the video. So if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself, just your first name and what class you're in. Hi, I'm Margie. I'm Ms. In, in Ms. Awad class. Hi, I'm Abni, and I'm, I'm in Mr. Baldwin's class. Hi, I'm Charlene. I'm in Ms. Awad's class. All right, so uh, this is the first video segment in Mineral Properties, right? And there's, uh, we're going to have three video segments. So Mineral Properties in this segment is going to be Color, Luster, and Streak. And we're going to go through all three of them. Then there'll be additional videos for uh, Cleavage and Fracture, and then finally for Hardness. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the purpose of all of the Mineral Properties is really to identify them. All right, so we can look at certain characteristics in each one of these categories, gather information, right, by actually looking at a specimen, right, and, and determine different characteristics. All right, and then we'll use, like, data tables and charts and things like that to try to find out the identity of the mineral. All right, so these first three that we're going to talk about, like, some of them are really, really good characteristics that are very useful, and other ones not so much, and we'll get into all those. So the first one we're going to talk about is color, right? What's your favorite color? Mine's blue, purple, green. Good. Those are all great colors. So what is color, right? Like, what exactly is that? What, like, what makes my shirt blue and yours green, yours pink, and yours black and white? Anybody? Uh, just a guess. What do you think? Light. Yeah, right, exactly, the light, right? So if we just have regular, like, light, white light, right, that's all wavelengths represented, right? That means that everything is reflected back to your eyes and it looks white. What do you think the color would be if everything is absorbed? Like, opposite of white. Black. Would be black, right, exactly. And for certain things, like my shirt, right, I've got a lot of the colors absorbed, but what color is reflected back that you see? Wavelength of light. Blue, exactly. And that would be the same for each of the different colors, right? So now let's take a look at some of these. So color, we actually have the definition. I'm going to go ahead and hold this up. The wavelengths of light reflected, not absorbed by a mineral. All right? So this is one of the physical properties, actually color. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these examples. What color do we think this one is? Purple. Purple, Purple. right? Okay. And what color do we think this one is? Pink, white, pink. Pink, okay. And then let's get to something that may be a little bit more, let's say this one. Turquoise. Turquoise. Green. 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 And I would say aquamarine, right? And so can we see that there's kind of like an opinion here? Like you can say it's this, and you can say it's that, and you can say it's this color, and I say something different. Right? We have three different colors and three different opinions. So when we talk about color for a mineral, it's actually the least reliable. Right? Because, for example, if I take a look at all three of these, right, we've got a pink, right, there's one that's white, and this is kind of like a brownish color. They're actually all the same mineral. Right? So minerals can be different colors. Right? Also the same with these three. These three are also the same mineral. Right? But they're three different colors. Right? And then if we take a look at some of these guys, sometimes a mineral can be multiple colors, right? In one hand sample. All right? So it's probably the easiest one to identify, but it's the least reliable. Right? Because one, we can have a bunch of different opinions about what the color is, and then two, we could have a mineral be a bunch of different colors. All right, are we okay with color? Ready to move on? All right, I'm going to move this guy to the side. This next one here is luster, and I'm just going to go ahead and like read the definition first, and then we'll talk about it. The characteristic of light reflected from the surface of a mineral. The characteristic of light reflected. All right, so what do we think about that? Characteristic of light. Characteristic. So how can, let's put it this way, um, besides for color, and if we take a look at like some of these minerals, how else do they look different? The texture. Texture, okay, look different. So you get definitely the texture. You can see that they don't all look the same texture, right? What else? What else looks different? 
about some of these. Shape. Shape looks different. Yeah, you're right. Does maybe, let's say, do you think some of these maybe are a little bit more like shiny than others? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, right? Like which one do you think would be kind of shiny? This one. Right, that one, exactly. All right, so then there's one that's kind of shiny, right? Is there is there another one that maybe isn't so shiny? Like this one? Yeah, it's it's probably maybe a little less shiny than that one. Right? What about what about this one? Right? Any kind of shine there? No. Not really, huh? All right. So kind of luster is is how the light is reflected from the mineral. All right? So when we try to identify minerals, we kind of separate um, minerals into two different categories. We separate them into metallic, right, or non-metallic. So what do you think metallic would be? What do you think it looks like? Looks like a metal. Yeah, it looks like metal, exactly, right? So pick one out that you think looks like a metal. All right. Any other ones? Yeah, definitely. Now, does does metal always look like uh, like a silvery color? No. 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 What other color could it be? Besides for silvery, what other color could metal be? Gray. Gray, right? What else could it be? Gold. Yeah, it can be like a gold color, exactly, right? And then it could also be like that, kind of that reddish copper color. It can also be. Right, so if I was going to first separate these minerals, right, if I was going to separate them in terms of metallic and non-metallic, I would be looking for all the minerals that look like metal, right, and those would be my metallic ones. So I could put this guy over there, this guy over here, this guy, this guy, that guy, right, and then the ones that aren't metal, I'm going to put it in another sense. I'm going to call them non-metallic. So I can put these guys over here, I can put these guys, I can put these guys over here, that guy, right? And then I can put a couple of these guys over here, right? Because all these don't look like metal, right? So pretty easy, right? Pretty straightforward, right? So I metallic and non-metallic, right? Now, like if we thought this was really easy, there's another layer here, and it's going to get, you know, not complicated but there's more, right? I'm gonna further subdivide non-metallic, right, by how it reflects light. And I'm gonna use these kind of special terms right here. I'm gonna use glassy, waxy, and earthy, all right? So when we think of glass, this glass, is it kind of shiny? Yeah, yeah. yeah it is, right? It kind of reflects light, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe not so much like these metallic ones, but it does reflect light. Do you think that some of these may be, would you think they would be glassy? Right? And you know what I want you to do? I want you to pick them up. Because when you pick them up and you hold them and you go like this, right, then you can start to see how it reflects the light. So I want you to pick some of these up just like that, just like I'm doing, right? You don't want to go like this, right? Just go like that so it reflects some of the light. And try to tell me which ones do you think look kind of glassy. This one looks like kind of glassy. Okay. This one's like uh, All right, there you go. This one. Okay. Let's hold up these two guys. This one. All right, let's hold up this one. That one's not, that one's close. Right, can everybody see that as I kind of turn this into the light, right? Do you see that kind of shine to it? Yeah. Do you see how it's kind of reflecting light and you can see that? Where it looks kind of like glass wood, right? All right, because these guys are glassy, so very good. You guys spotted those out real quick. All right, now, if it reflects light in a different way, not as much as glassy, so it doesn't look as shiny, all right, we're going to go down to something called waxy. All right, so almost think of like a candle, right, and what la wax looks like. Because wax kind of can be, have a little bit of a sheen to it, all right? Which one do you think is kind of waxy? So maybe, maybe not as shiny as this glassy one would be, maybe a little bit less than that. All right, which one do we think? 
All right. Let's see. Maybe about like this guy. All right. So let's hold up these guys. All right. Can we see that they still reflect? All right. A little bit of light there. All right. But not as much as these. And not as much as those. Right. Kind of almost like a step down. All right. And remember, we're still all in non-metallic here, all right? So now this last one here is like earthy, or we kind of refer to it as dull, because it doesn't really, the way the light comes off it, it doesn't look very shiny at all. So which one do you think that one would be? These yeah, these guys, these guys definitely, right? Do so you see how if I turn that like that, like I don't see any kind of shine, all right? See that? I don't really see any kind of shine. So okay, so like quick recap. recap. All right, we've got color that we've already talked about, right? And it is, we know what it is, and we know that it's, it's, it's the least reliable because we have different opinions and minerals can be different colors, right? The same mineral can be different colors, right? And we can all have a different opinion about it. We talked about luster. We've divided it up into two groups, metallic and non-metallic, right? What do the metallic ones look like? Metal. metal, exactly, and the non-metallic ones don't look like metal, and then we have kind of like a like a variation in terms of how they reflect light. All right, some are a little bit more shiny than others. Okay, now the last one that we're going to talk about, and I'm going to move these guys out of the way, I still want them to be visible, is something called streak. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. We'll go ahead and read the definition. The color of a mineral in powder form. All right, so the tool that we use for this is an unglazed porcelain plate. So I'm gonna give everybody one of these. All right, we got four of them. All right, so the only way that we can get this mineral into powder form is to actually rub it on the street plate, right? And you may think, oh, okay, well, um, it's going to be the same color, but actually, in some cases, it's not. So it becomes a really unique feature for some minerals. All right, so let's go ahead. I want you to each grab one of these minerals, and I want you to go ahead and rub it along the street plate. All right, stop. Okay, what color is the streak of your mineral? Mine is white. Mine is it white? Yeah. Oh, all right. All right, and mine was white too, as you can see right here. There's the mineral in its powdered form, and here's the mineral. Good, Mr. Baldwin. Right, and then over here we have the color of the mineral. Um, brown. Right, yeah, kind of like that reddish brown, right? And then we have the color of the streak. All right. Mine is yellow. Yours is yellow. There you go. Perfect. All right, so now let's go ahead and I want you to grab another mineral, all right, and go ahead and find out what its streak is. I want you to grab this guy right here. All right, grab another one. All right, stop. All right, so let's go ahead and see. All right, here, yours came out uh, brown. Yeah, like a brownish color. Mine was white again, right there. All right, Potter, let's see a lot here. Mine is silver, it's right here. Mine is brown, right here. Huh. All right, well, that's interesting. Why is that, in why is that unique? Look at that. Does the color of the mineral in its powdered form look like the color of the mineral? No, it doesn't, right? Well, that's kind of unique, wouldn't it be? Right? So not all the time are you going to have the powdered form of the mineral be the same color, right, as the streak of the mineral. All right? Any questions? Anything else that we need to talk about? From the gallery? Anybody? All right. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for this video. Oh, yeah. Is there like ones that they haven't discovered yet, like rocks? I mean, I don't know.
Um, minerals? Yeah, well, I'm sure there are. I mean, there's thousands of different minerals, variations of it. That's a great question. And um, yeah, there are quite a few that haven't been discovered, I'm sure. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, everybody. Thanks for participating in the video. And um, good luck in class. And we'll see you later. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye everyone.